What's going on everybody? TG here, back with another video. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Um, if you're in tech, you're not. So let's just jump right into that. And unfortunately, we are in tech. Uh, NASDAQ again, getting clobbered while the Dow advances. And bigger companies like Amazon and Microsoft just getting absolutely destroyed. Another day we lose another $3,000. So it's been rough this week. We're down almost 9000 for the week alone. Um, but we bought another share, two more shares of Amazon today, and we're we're all in. We are 100% more than all in on Amazon. We have 29 shares. Uh, it costs us 91k to buy them all, and obviously our account size is only 64k. So we're using a lot of margin to do this. Now, hopefully, Amazon will have a big recovery pretty soon. Um, I think this is a huge overreaction in my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong, but you know, it seems like a big, a big overreaction for me and it's been holding this, you know, pretty well today. It wanted to dip under, you know, 30, that 30, uh, 30, 10 market and just never was able to, um, which showed some good strength. I mean, obviously we're getting destroyed the past week, destroyed the past month and destroyed the past three months. So the stock has done nothing but lose gain, lose uh, stock value in the past three months, despite having two consecutive quarters of great earnings with huge growth. So, you know, I think it's I think this is uh this is long overdue for a run up, and we are approaching holiday season very soon, and that's not only going to be you know Amazon Prime Day that was included in this quarter, but we also have <clears throat> you know the big Christmas holiday shopping. And I feel like that's just going to be huge for Amazon, considering the fact that these brick and mortar malls are still closed down, and there's really nowhere else to turn besides Amazon. So, obviously, it sucks. You know, the fact that I was up like 5k and now we're down 3k, <clears throat> it obviously sucks, and it sucks having to use this much margin on Amazon as well. Like, we really did not want to have this happen. And honestly, I'm I'm genuinely a bit nervous. I'm usually not nervous about this stuff, but you know, the fact that it's fallen this hard in a week is a little bit concerning to me especially using this much margin i hate putting myself in a position where i could lose you know a fortune and obviously from the highs we had last week we were already down ten thousand dollars in two days like it's not good at all it's not a good feeling and i'm not gonna you know sit here and tell you guys oh it's fine and stuff like that because like you guys know like you know what's real and what's not and you know i'm sure a lot of you who are on the same you know position as me right now the same situation realize that you know, it's not it's not good to, you know, be in this type of position. So obviously I hope it gets better and I hope, you know, we have a nice recovery pretty soon, but <clears throat> I don't know what's happening. You know, people are selling Amazon and are buying, you know, ridiculous stocks like movie theater stocks and, you know, just really weird stocks and it's it's a weird change in the market where they're going to more of these stocks that haven't had any growth in years, like stocks like AT and T is another one. Like AT and T consistently is on a down downtrend. If you look at their earnings, it's consistently losing every single time. It's going downer and downer and downer and downer. Like and and yet people are going and pouring their money into you know stocks like this. And I don't know why. To be honest, I don't know what this whole transition from tech to you know Dow is. But you know it's it's definitely it's definitely weird because. You know, for some of them, it makes sense. You know, the Zooms, some of these weird cloud ones that like that makes sense because these stocks have had an extraordinary run up uh, like Peloton in the past couple months. And, you know, they deserve to get hit a little bit. Some of Peloton was up today. I'm not even sure how it was taking a massive hit. But, you know, Peloton, if you look at in the past three months is up 60%. Like it's had an insane run up. Whereas Amazon hasn't done a single thing but go down in the past th four months, despite posting two incredible earnings. So I feel like if you're going to put your money into some of these, one of these tech stocks, I think Amazon's the play. Amazon's continuing to grow. And yes, Amazon did have some issues today with uh, antitrust from Europe, um, but they can stay, you know, continuously do this to, you know, big tech all the time. They're always putting antitrust out. And you know they never they never really win you know because they're gonna Amazon's gonna grow regardless you know they don't have to listen to that uh, so to speak and it's not it's not gonna put a dent in their in their pockets at all so for for the stock to drop 
you know, significant from its highs, almost like more than 10% from its where it was. I think we're down about 16 and a half, almost 17% from its highs. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of room to grow as well. Like, and it's one thing if, if I saw Amazon post a bad earnings and okay, I'm, I'm going to get out of it for a while just because, you know, it's clearly there's a justifiable reason why the stock has gone down. But in this sense, you know, to see 3,039, like, are you kidding me? Like, despite it posting amazing earnings, you're going to, it's going to drop that much. Like, I don't know, it just seems, seems kind of foolhardish. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people out there with weak hands, you know, who the second the stock goes down, some they just sell. And, you know, they, they rarely ever make profit. You know, they try to, they try to get like a little bit here. And then it, the second things go bad, they just panic sell. You know, long term, that's going to be dumb and they're going to miss out on a lot of profits. And <clears throat> I think holding Amazon right now is going to be a very good play um, for a multitude of reasons. One, I think this next earnings is going to be spectacular because um, like, like I said, we have Prime Day and holidays all in this period, which is huge. And I'm pretty sure on estimates, it's not been given yet that Amazon brought in over $10 million alone or $10 billion alone on those two days of prime day. Like that's huge. Um, and then obviously holiday shopping <clears throat> is when more, more buying on Amazon happens any time of the year. So the fact that they did like 96 billion last quarter and they're expected to do like 115 between 110 and 120 billion this year or for this quarter, I feel like it's it's a no-brainer that they're going to hit this and they're going to hit a big. I think they're going to blow earnings out of the park and I feel like this is when Amazon finally breaks that 3600 mark and really starts to soar towards 4K. I could be wrong obviously and like I said, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm I am nervous, you know, having this much money into a stock that is performing really really badly right now for no real reason whatsoever. It's obviously nerve-wracking, it's obviously very stressful. And I, I want to, like I said, I always want to be as transparent as I can with you guys. Um, so it's, it's true. Like it, it sucks. It really does suck to wake up, you know, day after day and see 5% down, 6% down, 3%, like back to back to back. Like it's, it's painful to look at, especially when you have, you know, not just all your money, but borrowed money as well. And that was foolish of me. I probably shouldn't use that much margin, but I continue to buy as it went down and I should have sold a lot more when I hit 3,300. I sold two and a half shares, um, but I obviously should have sold a lot more. I should have got rid of all my margin, but I was thinking we were going to have a huge run up because I feel like this was going to be the start of the run. And obviously I was wrong, you know, so I'm going to definitely watch this and I'm definitely going to see what happens with Amazon, but you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's obviously extremely stressful. And I mean, you guys are investors, you know about this, you know, the stress that comes you know, with holding a company like this and, you know, you see a, you see a stock that's, like I said, down over 10% for the month and it's worrisome, but I got a good feeling about it. And I, I think deep down that Amazon will recover pretty well. And I feel like this, it's been battered down with bad news, bad news, bad news. And it's, you know, it's going to hold pretty strong, I hope. And I hope we're going to see a nice recovery. So I'm all in, I'm more than all in, I'm, I'm all in and more on Amazon and I hope we're going to get paid off for it. And we're definitely going to try to get ourselves out of this situation if we do have a nice run up, you know, back to that 3300, which is very possible. Then we're going to try to slim some, uh, trim some profits and reduce all of our margin because we don't want to have that risk either. So that's what we're doing for now. Guys, I hope you guys are doing okay. I know a lot of you guys in the Discord are, you know, big tech holders as well, like me. And I've just been getting absolutely slaughtered, you know, this past couple of days. So hope you're all doing okay. Keep your heads up. You know, you'll be fine in the long run, hopefully. And, you know, if you like the video, obviously remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to join our Discord, the link is in the description below. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Um, I apologize for the sounding kind of gloomy. Like I said, I'm trying to be honest with you guys. It's not a great feeling. It's not a your stomach does not feel good at all during days like this. But, you know... We'll, we'll see what the future holds for us. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys next video. Take it easy. Bye.